As you can see, Chet, we've got very consistent performance. <laughs> I don't have to tell you. Let's go get lunch. Ah! I despise box plots in the presentation of data. Why? Well, because the presentation of data should be honest and clear. You know, even if the conclusion being drawn is muddy, everyone should be able to like clearly see the mud. And if the audience is more than a couple statisticians, there are people misreading the box plots and potentially drawing the wrong conclusions. So why do I think box plots can be misleading? Well, let's take another look at what Chet was seeing. Here are some potential distributions for those box plots. If we just looked at the distribution curves, there's no way we'd call this a consistent performance, you know, like the guy presenting to Chet did. Now, if you don't know how to read box plots, I don't want to just leave you in the dark, you know, in case you run into them. So let me quickly break down how to read them. When you see a box plot, think median. The median is the data point right in the middle of your data set, if you don't remember. You know, if you listed all your data points from smallest to biggest, or biggest to smallest, it will be the one right in the middle. Now, on a box plot, the line in the middle of the box, that's the median. So the data that you've got is split in half by that line. The lines making up the ends of the box split the data on that side of the median in half. So a simpler way to say it is that the three parallel lines across the box split up the data set into four quadrants. That puts one quarter of the data points in each of the whiskers and one quarter of the data points in each half of the box. Sometimes you'll see dots or asterisks or some similar indicator outside of the whiskers. Now, often software creates box plots that have a default value for what it calls outliers and uses dots or whatever to represent them. You should not ignore them. It's sketchy to ignore data points and justifying it by calling them outliers is just gross. Now, the main way to avoid falling into the box plot misinterpretation pit of death is to learn how to see the distribution being represented by the box plots. The main way to do that is to compare the quadrants to each other. A shorter quadrant indicates the data points are denser there. It's the same number of data points, but just sort of packed into a smaller range than the other quadrants. This is especially deceptive when either or both sides of the box are large compared to the whiskers. It's really easy to see that and interpret it more like a histogram and think a lot of the data is represented by the box, like in this box plot. If you're not very accustomed to reading box plots, it would be easy to interpret this as a big bulky center. Nope, this data is bimodal like nobody's business.